was meant to be saying hey YouTube um, uh, so this week I'm messing about with a pedal which I will show you in a minute that matches my t-shirt playing through my Shocking Birds guitar here jingle chord pickup and doing the clean channel on my Laney VC15 no pedals apart from this one well so there's the sound <laughs> to learn how to play that before I've done it, before I remember it. So what it is, is it goes between, if you're using an amplifier like the Sobtec here, where you've got like a Marshall, where you've got like the head and the cabinet, it goes between the two. So it's like the speaker output. You put that into your top box and then you take the output of that and put it back into your amp. So what it does is it turns, so instead of sending the, the output of your amp to your speaker, it sends it into like a, the top box, which is basically a wee speaker with a funnel on the top of it and a tube like this, which directs all the sound through the tube and then you put it into your vocal mic and it comes through the PA. This is the Dan Electro free speech pedal, which kind of does away with a lot of that. It's much, a much more easy, much easier one to set up. So it's, you just put it in like a normal pedal. So I've got the guitar going in, into the input and then the output that goes straight into the amp. That's it. So you've got, you've got your guitar sound. <laughs> Maybe stomp on it. What it does is it puts all the sound through this tube. You can actually do this quite um, if you use your phone. If you play music on your phone, you can have fun going wah, wah, over the top of it. And you can do vowel sounds, which are like um, wah, ooh. <laughs> So the way this one works is um, it sends up the tube as the original top box does but there's actually a little microphone clipped on the top here as well which goes back into the pedal and you've got a, two controls, you've got a volume and a growl on it. I think that might be why it's distorted. I wonder if I turn the growl down. Is it clean or will it not work? That might be better actually. So that's the volume at full and the growl off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Apparently the first use of it was uh, Joe Walsh, Rocky Mountain Way, Rocky Mountain High, whatever it is, um, and Peter Frampton sort of nabbed it or got it off his engineer, I think it, it came out, Rocky Mountain Way is like 75, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just guessing now, but apparently Peter Frampton kind of stole the idea from Joe Walsh, asked him what it was, took it away, copied it and still owns it to this day, it's, he's got like the patent, the licence for making the top, the town top box. But not necessarily the Dan Electro free speech. Um, I've not spent enough time on it to le actually learn how to use it properly. This is me just after I've played it for 10 minutes, really. <laughs> well it works pretty well now so um i think i'm probably just going to sell this because the novelty factor of it is now that i'm in this wee tiny room i really don't have room to have a mic stand set up all this is this is just a mic stand holding it um the mic that came with it it's got a wee in fact i'll show you the pedal now it's probably enough silly noises for just now so if i unplug everything oh, oh, three four five things to unplug there we go so Da, da, da. It was quite, you could almost just have it on my chest like a Cyberman would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, so you get the volume growl, that's where you stick the tube. You've got your in, out, power supply and uh, the mic input socket. So this runs, it, it dictates a battery as well. Uh, yeah, so this comes with, a, as I said, a mic that clips onto this, which I've now duct taped onto it. There, see, there's a mic there there's meant to be two mics well there is two mics but the other one doesn't work in this particular pedal and i've sorted it um a lot of people I, I couldn't really find any good reviews of this on youtube to be honest um a lot of people went haven't been using it because you can because it still puts you don't need to use the mic you can just use your mic like the way you would use a, a, an old the older the other type top box so if you've got your vocal mic on there you know it comes through the pa for the, the talking bits, whereas this one puts it through your guitar amp. Um, so what I did was, one of the mics didn't work, so I've bypassed it and I've short-circuited it so that I basically, it, it works now. <laughs> so you don't really need to know any more than that. But it's running on one mic, and then the, because it's a stereo signal, I stuck both the, this mic into both the sides of the stereo thing, so it, the volume, I'm just talking myself out of it here. But, um, yeah, so it seems to work quite well. You could also use, like, if you've got, like, a headset mic. I don't see why you couldn't use that. Um, and then just plug it in, as long as you had the... It's just a, it's a headphone size adapter that goes into the back of the pedal. Was it three and a half mil? That size one. Zoom in. Oh, there's a video. Okay, cool. Zoom in on Yeah. It's pretty cool, but... um. It does have a slight novelty value, doesn't it? But I mean, I think, to be fair, these are a hell of a lot cheaper than a real, I've called the real one the one that you have to put into your amp, which is really not that much use, because this for like recording stuff, you can just plug it straight into your record machine, or straight into your amp, and it's dead easy to set up. You don't need to have a PA set up to sing that into it, although you can do that, if that 
what you wanted. Um, it's great fun. I'm probably just going to sell it on, to be honest. Uh, just because I don't have enough room for it. But so, Dan Electric Top Box, I'll, I'll, I'll have a wee jam out on it, I suppose. Just while I've got it set up, because I pr might not even bother setting it back up again. I, I need the room in here to move about. And then plug in the tube. Incidentally, the tube on this is nice and long, so any grotty, slivery bits that I've left on here, you just, just you could you could cut. There's there's plenty of it, so you could just cut a couple inches off it, and then it won't have my teeth marks in it anymore, <laughs> or anything like that. Run it under soapy water, should be fine. Anyway, all all the all the slivers should go down the tube anyway, so there shouldn't be any anybody anything coming back up the way. Wait for the amp to kick in. That's me desperately trying to remember either of the Peter Frampton songs. Wah, 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 wah. Just a case I can try to get it the best way down. See, I can play the notes at the right time, just not necessarily the right notes. Wow, wow, do you? I'm not in tune anymore. Actually, I see a guitar with a Floyd Rose sitting there. Let's see what that sounds like. This is on, on the cuff doing it. I would set up a... I've got a GoPro to set up there so I could have it actually point out the pedal at the same time. But then I'd have to edit it, I can't be bothered doing that. Then I'd have to, all the mistakes and stuff wouldn't be in it, it wouldn't be live and rock and roll. Yeah, so this is a God, my Go Down Artisan. I remember seeing a thing on Frampton, he was talking about it, and he sort of cheats a little bit, but you can put in uh, T's and S's and stuff by kind of... Has to be on. So you can kind of... This is not going to work, but... Uh, with practice, you can apparently put um, vowels in, uh, constants in as well. And then let's maybe sing at the same time. So anyway, that'd be my terrible review of the Dan Electro free speech pedal, which 
it's only terrible because of me, not because of the pedal. It actually worked pretty well, and um, I would actually, if you really want to play, there's no way out here, or that whatever that Bon Jovi song is, the wah wah wah, or Frampton comes alive. Amazing. It's the sort of thing that if you're using it live, I think using it in one song would be really cool. But it's but I don't know. It's not something you're going to use on every single song on your album or the whole set. Rock and roll.